year is 2012. In an England which has now been entirely taken over by women, where women are the breadwinners and the decision makers, and where men are completely subjugated, forced to wear dresses and given feminine names, our story concerns two men, Janet and Betty. <laughs> These two downtrodden specimens are on the run, wanted for crimes against the state by the dreaded secret police. decided to go into hiding, but not before they steal their own identity papers from police headquarters, a building once known as the Tower of London, now renamed Barbara Castle. <laughs> Janet, an employee at the castle, runs over his daring plan with Betty outside the grey walls of the grim fortress. Now, as soon as I get inside, I'll go to the lavatory. Pardon? The lavatory. The window looks out onto the street. That's it up there. Oh, yes, yes. I'll stick my pass out of the window. You do what? My pass, I'll stick it out of the window and you grab it. No, I'm sorry, I, I can't hear a damn thing with this cotton wool. Well, then I'll take it out. Well, what's it there for? But it's those cannons on the parapet that go off every hour on the hour. I thought I'd take a bit of precaution, that's all. Well, that's part of the plan. You'll have to get used to the cannons. Now, you take my pass, change the photo, get in with the pass. I'll be waiting outside with the bucket. Right. Good luck, Janet. Hope <laughs> How much, dearie? <laughs> You're rattling your keys. How much? How dare you, madam? I'm not a common streetwalker. Well, what's you rattling your keys for, then? I happen to have the palsy. Uh, oh, big pardon, I'm sure. <laughs> Sorry. I, I'm kind of, I'm so clumsy. I'm awfully sorry. You're quite, you're fine, you're fine. You're absolutely fine. You're absolutely fine. Don't worry, my dear. I, uh, I'll be out of your way in no time at all. Ah. Yeah, that's all right. I'll leave the rest. It's only money, isn't it? I've got piles. Which reminds me, I wouldn't sit there too long on that cold bed. <laughs> The sooner we get in that records office, the better. We've got to find the cleaning trolley from somewhere now. Come on.
of your little friend, mate? Well, well, uh, and about that, he was... Does <laughs> <laughs> he ever have got something? Got what? Um, a uh, boot oil. What's boot oil? Uh, boot... It's a new directive, you see. I mean, if an officer comes to you and says, she's got squeaky shoes and uh, you haven't got it, um, you're for it. Boot oil? What do you mean, what do you, have you got any, then? Oh, I don't know, I think I've got it. Dear, dear, you better get up the supplies and get yourself some. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, don't forget to get both sorts. No. Black and brown. <laughs> Black and blue if we're still here when he gets back. <laughs> Four minutes to ten, at ten o'clock, the gun fires three times at fifteen-second intervals. Now, you have got to use these three bangs to cover any noise you might make. What I need is a machine gun to cover the noise of my knees, not <laughs> oh, Let's get ready. All right. Uh, morning, ma'am. Just a little dust round. Betty here has come to help me. Lovely day. Well, empty this way. That's it. Yes. Okay, thank you. Uh, there we are. Sorry, I'm a bit late. That's <laughs> no, I've just uh, only I was. Uh, <laughs> I um, I meant to tidy up the other. Uh, all that noise. Oh, the guns go off every day. I know, I know. I'm sorry. It's my, it's my nerves, you know. I can't be a noise of any sort. I once joined the silent order of a monastery. I had to leave. Why? There were such noisy eaters. <laughs> Was that the last one? Yes, oh. only three. Oh, thank heavens for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to ask you to stand up, I'm afraid. I want to just dust your chair. What? It's a new directive. All chairs have to be dusted. <laughs> well, I'll be off then. <laughs> All finished round there, Betty? Oh, yes. All nice and tidy. <laughs> oh, off we go then. <laughs> Don't get up. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. As soon as she sees that mess, she'll be after us. No, she won't. I stuck her trousers in the chair. <laughs> Look out. Look out. Oh, quick. My bucket's on fire. It's a stray cigarette end. Help. Help.
It's forbidden to impersonate women now, you know. Dan LaRue's still locked up in here somewhere. <laughs> You know that. We know everything. It's because we eat so much beef, you see. You're a stupid bitwit. You certainly are. Bend over. Hey, Dan. <laughs> we must find them. They must not be allowed to escape. But they burned their identity papers. We have no photographs to go on. Silence. One is short, the other is fat. They won't get far. They must be got rid of. Liquidized. Don't you mean liquidated? No. We have a new method. <laughs> what will happen to our heroes, Janet and Betty? Have they burnt their boats as well as their papers? Have they jumped out of the frying pan into the liquidizer? <laughs> Find out next week in another excruciating episode of The Worm That Turned.